Hey, lovely people. Today I want to share something, um, something very important to me and something that I believe the world, or those who are searching and looking to connect themselves with the land and with their own purpose, mission in their life, and find out what they hold. Um, the books I'm reading, I would like to share. And I would like to share how they came to me and how I actually ignored them. Mm. But things happen in life for a reason. There's no coincidence and I do not believe in good luck. That does not exist. Everything is pre-written by ourselves. If you believe that we come just to be here and not to evolve as souls and that we don't know why we come, this is not what I believe. And that's why I would like to share this with you. The books I started reading um, are called, uh, sorry, the books I'm reading are written by a Russian guy called Vladimir Megre. They're the book of Anastasia. Anastasia and the Ringing of the Cedar Woods. The books were probably published 1992. And to me, they are like a Bible. When I say Bible, I don't refer to a religion at all. I refer to a soul, to a cosmic law, and to what we carry as cosmic beings. When I read these books, I don't learn anything new. And when I buy a new book, I would like to learn something new, which I can apply on my life and it can help me grow and understand other things that I haven't thought of and become a better person so I can share this with others. In this case, yeah, I know it sounds a little bit tricky, not disappointing, tricky. I am reading the books and I am crying at times because all this written in the books is something that I know. And it's something that I know and I have spoken into bits and pieces without knowing that I know. And to me, I call this remembering, remembering what is coded in us, not as human beings, as who we truly are and from where we come. We come with a certain knowledge and we either unlock this knowledge through the process of spirituality, inner wisdom, taking psychedelics, mushrooms, whatever you want to call it. Go to an adventure, climb a mountain, face your fears, more and more and more of those things. Then you become unbeatable. You become less touched by the fears and projections of the world we live in. You become stable. You become like a tree. And when a storm comes, you know that this shall pass too. When you reach that point, I don't think there can be any surprise. And these books were not supposed to surprise me. But if I read the books three years ago, I would not have understand the books and appreciate them the way I do now. Anastasia lives in the taiga, in the Siberian forest. And she lives there and she grows everything there. She's looked after by the animals, by the birds, by the wildlife of the forest, just like her parents were. She uses a strong ray of light to heal from distance and also to see in the future and the past travel in the Akashic Records, if you want to call it. But she has the ability to heal from distance because she was born with this ability, just like all of us. But she developed it because she had nothing else to think of or to be consumed by, okay? And the person who writes the book meets her in the forest and could not understand her very well, but appreciates her very much and her abilities. And he's very interested in how she can live there and be so fulfilled and happy and so in touch with the nature and how much we have lost the ability to be. 
connected with nature and Mother Earth. So the things she's speaking in the book are nothing new for many of you probably. But what I understood is when the right time comes, we read a book and it's the same with these books. And I would love to share this with you because the Vladimir Megre books are like a Bible. There are eight books and in each book it's simplicity of life that we have forgotten. Why? Because we wanted to consume, we wanted to have the best education, to go to the best schools, to have the best houses, to have materialistic consumption, to obey systems and to get disease on top of that because part of that was um, to get lost in the system and to not know who we truly are and what is our belief system. The books of Anastasia telling us that everything is coded in us and we can manifest instantly the life we want only if we can hear the rhythm of the forest, the rhythm of every birth, of every flower, and we can appreciate it and communicate with them the way they communicate with us because they help us achieve things in life. They help us heal big time. Yes, they do. But we do not give them the appropriate attention and appreciation and this is what the books are and what is happening with the world now and what is going to happen on a higher and on any level from now on is we need to read those books as soon as possible and we need to return to the land and we need to take our kids with us and teach them and stop consuming, stop killing the land, stop poisoning ourselves as well. We need to care for our bodies and what we put in our bodies so we can look after the soil afterwards. So my desire with this video is just to share Anastasia's beautiful world, how we all can heal and how we can all connect with the land. And why I'm saying now is important because the earth, the earth, yes, not the nations, not the cities, not the different cultures, we've passed through that long ago. It doesn't matter where you live, what nationality you are, it matters one thing, that you're a human. And if you're a human and you want to pass something to your children which is useful, and if you would like to be disease-free, and to live a life with meaning and joy, without polarity, without, without judgment, jealousy, anger, fear, then it is time to look inside you and to find all the treasures and to learn how to live outside the big city. This is number one. And then is the appreciation to nature. Heal the nature so the nature can heal you. Remember how nature looked after our ancestors. And think of humans as, are we going to survive? Not as, is there going to be a war? Or is there going to be another disease? No, because we are one. We are humans on a planet called Earth. We are not different cultures, different languages, different nations. We are one. And from that one, we need to wake up every morning. And the first thing we need to do is to have a beautiful, positive thought. All of us. All of us. Every single morning. The same when you go to sleep. 15 minutes in the morning and 15 minutes before you go to bed. Think of something beautiful, whatever that is, whatever, a moment from the past, a moment that you would like to create in the future. And speak to your water, as I spoke before in the previous video. Energize your food, bless your food, bless your house, your family. The language we use, the words we use are recharging or poisoning our environment. So that's crucial too. There's so many elements to the living of each of us every single day that we can change things instantly if we change our mindset and if we start living from a place of equality, unity, peace and joy. 
and everything that you are looking as a human being, and I can tell you this 100%, only because I'm standing in front of you and I've experienced quite a lot, and I know I've got a huge amount to learn ahead of me, but so far I learned something huge, and this is that nothing is outside you. Nothing is at school, or in the books, or the universities you're going, or at the higher level job you're going to get. It's inside you. It's called inner wisdom. There is nowhere else you're going to find all the answers you're looking for. Nowhere else. Not a friend can tell you, not a neighbor can tell you what the right decision for you is. It's inside you. Always when you look for a solution, Always look inside you and ask this in the voice. Sit with yourself. And I've said it many times in many videos. And it's not something difficult. But we have detached from nature and from ourselves. Nature of humans and nature as the nature, as Mother Earth. So the books by Vladimir Megre called Anastasia and the Ringing of the Cedar Woods were recommended to me three years ago by three different people. I ignored it. And then after three years, people started saying to me that I speak like her and I must have read those books. And I said, now it's becoming quite intriguing for me, so I'm going to read them. I started with the first book and I said, okay, it's all right. It's, it's fine. We know this thing. So I'm going to move on because I've got something else to read. And at the time, I did have something else which challenged me a lot. I like to be challenged and to grow and to face things that are not working for me, to emotionally evolve and to share with others. But yeah, my friends know that and I think you can taste a little bit of that. So another year passed and I did read the second book and now I'm reading the third book and I'm crying because I must be at the right place and time ready to kind of uncode what is that I need so I can pass it on. But funny enough, funny enough, I would like to say that, that when I was reading the book at the moment now, I've asked, why am I so touched by those books when they're not teaching me anything new? And I heard my inner voice or the voice of my guides and masters or my higher self saying because now it's the time when you can pass it and understand it before you thought it's not true and it can't be that simple because I was looking for the complexity of answers for the complexity of our existence and humans and actually everything is extremely simple everything is extremely simple so I highly recommend them Anastasia and the, the Ringing of the Cedar Woods by Vladimir Megre. A book for the soul, a book for each human, for each probably child from age of, each teenager, put it that way. A teenager can read this book and have joy reading it. Thank you guys. Have a stunning weekend.